Remember Langgraph? Well, it's a module that's built on top of Langchain to better enable the creation of graphs and AI agents. I have made a video on it, so if you're interested, take a look at the video link in the description below. Now, something cool I stumbled across was where someone by the username Anuraj had created a multi-agent large language model coding framework using Langgraph. Now, this is a prototype of using multi-agent based flows where he first defined the architecture flow as well as different agents that he specialized where he the agent itself is to focus on a specific task as well as assigning him a certain role. You have a programmer agent that will write the code for you. You have a tester agent that will generate the input test cases an executor who's going to execute the code in different languages. You have a debugger agent that's going to help you debug the code using large language models, knowledge, as well as many other agents that work together in this multi-agent framework to fulfill user queries on coding based tasks. Now, just take a look at this example where you're able to implement this multi-agent framework built using Glengraph. So here we can see that he has integrated this multi-agent framework that was built using Glengraph's framework, which is something that lets you build AI agents. And in this case, he has integrated the multi-agent coding framework into Streamlit as a front end. Now, what he has done is that you're allowed to ask it different coding related queries and in this case he has asked the framework to generate code for a fibonacci series now once the code was actually or the prompt was actually sent in the framework starts to call the specialized agents for each task whether that's a programmer a debugger an executor agent as well as a tester now in this case the agent works alongside with each other to generate as well as the optimize the code. And at the end, we can see that the debugger is also working alongside with these agents to make sure that it's resolving errors in the code. And we saw at the end that it's able to generate the code that you can execute and implement into any other workflow. What an amazing year for the private discord. For simply being a Patreon, we offered nine paid subscriptions completely for free since the start of this year, which only has been two months. These plans add up to $700 and more if you are to individually purchase them. We've had insane partnerships with big AI companies, giving out subscriptions to AI tools and frameworks completely for free, like DeFi, NVIDIA, and many others. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency with AI. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you also gain the ability to get daily AI resources, AI news, consulting, networking opportunities, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. If you're interested in elevating your AI game, highly recommend that you take a look at the Patreon link in the description below and join today. This is something that you should definitely not miss out, so definitely take a look at this. Now, this is no real big project or anything, but it's a prototype and I really wanted to put emphasis on it because it showcases what you can actually do with Langgraph. Langgraph is something that is actually fairly new and not a lot of people know about it. But as we see, it's a module built on top of Langchain and it's to help you create various sorts of AI agents. And in this case, as a specific use case in helping you create different agents. So this is something that we're going to take a look at by taking a look at the multi-agent framework that was developed using Langgraph. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a multi-agent large language model framework that was built using Langgraph. Now, in this article, he basically discusses the transformative impact of AI as on software engineering, as well as emphasizing the role of software development in shaping the future. And the main reason why he developed this project is to highlight the increasing use cases of LMs, as well as the LM-based agents to automate various software development tasks from coding to testing as well as debugging and in this case he has made this beautiful framework that is able to do all of it using Langgraph. Now the focus on this article or this framework is to develop this framework so that it's able to 
enable autonomous operations of these agents, whether that's a programmer, a debugger, a tester, or an executor. It explores these capabilities of Langraph for creating these agents, and it's something that you can get started with by integrating a chain-based large language model solution that Langraph actually supplies. So I know I've made a video on Langraph previously, but to just briefly go over it once again, it's something that enhances the Langchain ecosystem. And this is by facilitating the creation of different various ranges of advanced agent runtimes. And it utilizes the capabilities of large language models for reasoning as well as decision-making tasks within a cyclical graph structure. It's often needed for agent runtimes, and it's basically focusing on three main key components in this land graph framework. Firstly, you have state graph. This is the primary type of graph in land graph, and this is the stateful graph, which is defined by a state object, which is passed in each node that is being attributed to it. So these nodes within the graph actually return operations to the updates that are being sent within the state. So this is by either having it so that there's a specific attribute or adding the existing attributes. Secondly, you have nodes. This is where in LangGraph, it represents the agent components and they're responsible for different types of tasks within this application. So each node can interact with a state object, which is the one that we talked about previously, and it returns operations to update it based off the functions that, they, that are actually prevalent in this architecture. You then have edges. Now, this is where it's basically focusing after adding the nodes. You are connecting nodes within the graph and it defines the flows of the information as well as the operations between different components within your own application. They basically enable the communication as well as the coordination between nodes to achieve the desired functionality. So we talked about what LangGraph's framework is able to do. But how did he utilize Langraph to create this multi-agent coding system? Well, if we are to go to the Medium article that is describing this multi-agent framework, it begins by focusing on defining the architecture flow as well as the roles of different agents. These are basically specified in different tasks where he first developed an agent node, and this is using Langraph's node. And what he has done is that he created a programmer. And in this case, this agent is responsible for writing the code based on a given requirement. It will utilize Langraph's node to generate optimized and error-free Python code. Now, in this case, you can optimize it for other programming languages, but what he has done is that he revolved this multi-agent framework for just Python. Now, what he has done after is that he focused on an agent node, which is the tester. Now, this tester agent is going to generate the input test cases, and it, it's basically expected to output based on the provided requirements of the code. You then have the executor agent, which is focusing on the agent node, and the executor agent will actually execute the provided Python code from the previous steps. And in this case, it's going to be in a Python environment, and it's going to use it so that the generated test cases are for evaluation now in this case it splits the graph off into two different segments you have the agent node which is the debugger and this will utilize the line graphs capabilities to debug the code using any sort of large language model knowledge lastly you can see that the debugger is able to go back to the executor to execute any sort of error like again to make sure that's able to fix it now, in this case, you have this decision to end node, which is focusing on a conditional edge. So in this case, you're able to have these conditional like edges, or in this case that you're able to have a function often powered by the large language model, which is used to determine which node is to go first. To create this edge, you need to pass through three different things. You have the upstream node, the function node, as well as a mapping. So what he has done in this case is that he basically created this conditional edge where it's deciding whether to end the execution or send the code to the debugger. And this is through the previous step for any sort of error resolution to make sure that there is fixes being made to the, uh, the code that was actually faulty. So based off this outcome, it's able to then provide and execute the code afterwards. And you're going to be able to get this new code that will be able to fulfill the, fulfill the user prompt at the beginning. Now, in this case, this whole framework is integrating these different agents as well as edges 
that are being built by Langgraph's framework. It's utilizing its state graph, the nodes, the edges to define the flow of information as well as operations between different components of the application. So you can simply see that by leveraging Langgraph, the framework is able to enable the creation of these sophisticated multi-agent systems for coding tasks. And this was something that he was actually able to do. And it's something that you can actually try out right now with this GitHub repo that he has created. He has defined all the environments, the graphs for creating this multi-agent framework. And you can have it so that it can be implemented into Streamlit. So you can use it for debugging as well as executing Python code. Now, huge props to this guy who developed this framework because I have never actually saw a real use case as to what anyone was doing with Langgraph. So this is something that I first saw on Twitter and I really wanted to make a video on it afterwards. And I thought it'd be something that would be very interesting for a lot of people and it would probably prompt a lot of people to use Langgraph. It's not a paid promo or anything. It's just something that I thought people should actually use because not a lot of people know about it and it's really good framework that many people can adopt for creating these different nodes and execution agents so with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it i'm going to leave all these links in the description below make sure you check out my previous video on line graph because it'll give you more insights as to what you can do with it but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you check out the patreon page if you haven't already this is a great way for you to join different subscriptions completely for free you get networking opportunities collaboration and so much more make sure you follow us on twitter this is a great way free to stay up to date with the latest AI news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news I'm always posting different videos every single day so this is something that you should definitely take a look at but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas